Live, local, now. This is WSFA 12 News at 10. Two stories breaking this hour. Shots ring out in two separate incidents, one in Montgomery, one in Prattville. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mark Bullock. Valerie Lawson is off. We will start in Prattville, where two teenagers are dead. This is a live look at the scene. It's on Sycamore Drive. That is just off Highway 14. The police chief confirms for WSFA 12 News tonight two 19-year-olds, both male, were found inside this home. We're told the parents of one of the victims returned to the house to find their son and a friend shot to death. It is still unclear what led up to this shooting. Police simply calling this a death investigation for now. They say autopsies will be the next step in that investigation. The other shooting happened in Montgomery just a short time ago. In this case, there was one victim, and tonight he is in the hospital. He survived. This is video from Jeff Davis Avenue near Rosa Parks. You can see at least two bullet holes in that car. We don't know how many times the victim was actually hit. We do know his wounds are serious, but not life-threatening. No names have been released and no word of any arrests. Get updates on WSFA.com and tomorrow morning on Today in Alabama. A lot of you will be pulling out your wallet after this next story. We're getting reports of counterfeit cash circulating in central Alabama, and it's hard to tell it apart from the real thing. Our Samuel King got an up close look at the funny money and investigates this troubling trend. Take a look. Well, we all know about the extremely high interest rates often charged by title and payday loan operations, but an effort to limit the number of those businesses in Montgomery will have to wait. Anchor John O'Connor now with new information from tonight's city council meeting. And John, it sounds like some of these council members are at odds over this issue. All right, John, thank you. The Alabama Senate approved a bill putting new regulations on the payday loan industry during this past session, but the bill met with opposition and never passed the House. The City Council did approve some changes tonight to the hours governing the city's entertainment districts. Those districts will now have closing times, meaning open containers will no longer be an option 24 hours a day. The times will be limited between 9 a.m. and midnight. That's the closing time. There are three entertainment districts in the city. City, two in Cloverdale and one in downtown. City officials say they're not closing businesses, just the district, and they're trying to limit late night public intoxication arrests and prevent underage drinking. The council also got its first look at the mayor's proposed 2014 budget for Montgomery. The $229.9 million spending plan includes several increases over last year's budget, indicating a slight increase in revenue for the city. It also includes merit raises for all eligible employees. The mayor says he also still hopes to build up the city's reserves. Well, those colorful detergent pods make doing the laundry easier, but they've also proven dangerous for some children. Maybe you've heard kids are eating them as if they were candy. Tonight, what some manufacturers are doing about that. And it was a bold shoplifting attempt. Now it looks like Crime Stoppers is about to close this case thanks to you. Prattville police are closer to making an arrest thanks to you. Within two minutes of our Crime Stopper segment last night, officials got a tip identifying a suspect in a TJ Maxx theft case. Her name has not been released, but this woman you see here is accused of stealing baby clothes from that TJ Maxx store. And now that police know who she is, when she's arrested, she'll be charged, we're told, with robbery and theft of property. So for those people participating on the Dragon Boats, mm -hmm. getting a little wet may not be a bad thing on Saturday, huh? No, I've been out to Dragon Boat before the festival out there, and it has been hot, so who knows? Maybe that's a good thing for this year. It's getting to be very popular, isn't yeah, it? It is. It's a big event. It sure is. Thanks, Rich. You bet, buddy. Well, firefighters are working around the clock, trying to gain the upper hand on a raging wildfire in Idaho. And according to police, three teenagers accused of gunning down a college student in cold blood did it because they were bored. A WSFA 12 News update. Three Oklahoma teenagers have now officially been charged as adults in the alleged murder of a college student. Hey, 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 come on, I will kill y'all. Obviously an emotional day in the courthouse there. Police say the suspect shot Christopher Lane, get this, out of boredom. 
Two of the teenagers are charged with first-degree murder. The other is charged with accessory. Officials say one suspect, James Edwards Jr., took the arrest process as a joke. Well, on Facebook, investigators say they found postings from the teens referring to a second killing. No evidence, though, has been found proving that there was ever a second murder. Well, some positive news coming from our west. Firefighters are slowly gaining ground on that wildfire in Idaho. Crews have been able to establish a containment line in some key areas. About half of the more than 2,000 residents initially evacuated have been allowed to go home. Thousands of homes, though, remain in jeopardy. Officials say improved weather conditions have helped them make progress in containing the fire. Four degrees gets us started at 7 o'clock, and that's Wake Up Weather. Happy Hump Day, everybody. Thanks for watching WSFA 12 News at 10. We'll see you tomorrow night. New developments in the implementation of the Alabama Accountability Act. A small group of private schools now opting into the program. Major headaches are just around the corner for Selma drivers. We'll explain coming up. Alabama politicians leaving their jobs will face restrictions as they move into the private sector. Just off the side of the road in the tiny community of Friendship, Alabama, you'll find a place called Ugly's Country Store and Ice Cream Shop. We'll take you inside and show you what they're serving up in this week's County Road 12 Report. Five, local, now. This is WSFA 12 News at 6. And we have new information you'll see only on 12 tonight. A list of private schools that have decided to participate in the new Alabama Accountability Act. Good evening, I'm Mark Bullock. And I'm Valerie Lawson. As the state works to make sure the law is implemented in time for the first day of school, some private schools are left with a big decision. Headmasters statewide trying to decide whether to open their doors to children from failing schools. WSFA 12 News reporter Melissa McKinney found out who's in and who's still wrestling with the idea. Well, the wait is over and the gates are open. Good evening, everyone. I'm Valerie Lawson. And I'm Mark Bullock at the 60th annual Alabama National Fair getting underway as we speak. The Ferris wheel is turning. You can smell hot dogs and pretzels in the air and preparations are underway for shows and concerts that will go on all week. We'll talk a little bit more about what's coming up here at the fairgrounds in Montgomery in just a few minutes. For now, the latest news with Valerie. Val Welcome back to the Alabama National Fair. It's the 60th annual fair, so you know it's good if it's been going on that long. Something else that's really good is the fair food. Joining me now, Billy Fickling with McKinney uh, Food Service. Billy, you guys have been coming out here to the Montgomery Fair, you said, for how long? 18 years. Must do a pretty good business for yes, you. Yes, sir. We enjoy this fair. It's a great fair. You guys offer corn dogs, nachos, uh, what Indian else? And Polish sausage. That's always a favorite. And yes. there's something new that you're promoting this year. Yeah, this year we're promoting the jalapeno cheddar cheese corn dog. It's uh, got a little spice in everybody's life, so we want everybody <laughs> to come out here and try one. Jalapeno, cheddar cheese, corn dog. I don't see how you could go wrong with that. Of course, we've also got the funnel cakes everybody loves. This year, believe it or not, there is a maple funnel cake with bacon bits and maple syrup on top. I'm not sure how good that is, but there's plenty to do and eat, Valerie, at the fair as usual. Listen, that is pancakes and bacon. <laughs> of course that's got to be good. 